All right, I know what you're thinking. Two videos in two days. Are you crazy, Josh? Yes. Yes, I am. But no, this has been circulating my Facebook for the last couple of days since Saturday, I think, um, when the Justice for Captives, when Justice for Captives went into SeaWorld and did their dolphin protest. Um, that went live. I watched it live through my friend's Facebook, Daniel, who is running it. Um, he also runs Fin Free Melbourne, which is very good and you should check out and I'll put the link below. I'll also be putting the link below for Justice for Captives. Oh, I'm wearing my Sea Shepherd shirt. How ironic that I am talking about captivity and wearing a Sea Shepherd shirt. Right, what I thought we would do is that we can watch this video together. Um, this is the video of them protesting. And then we can have a little chat. We can talk about what's actually going on, what, how the people are reacting. I will probably talk throughout the video. Let's watch a protest. If you haven't seen it, I will have it. It will be hit there. I'm going to be up here in the corner. And then this will all be video from here. So we're going to watch it together. And we're going to learn about captivity to animals. Can I get my iPad to sit up here? That's the question. Also, do you like my new pimple? We've grown quite attached. Play. Here we go. Why are they booing? Li they've literally got nothing to boo. They've done nothing. They've walked out calmly, stood in front of the... What's he doing? He's just grabbing the signs. That's a blatant abuse of size. He's a little... Look at, look at that! The activists have come out calmly and stood, pausing it, let's get real. The activists have come out calmly, stood there, have hurt nobody, have done nothing of any aggressive nature, stood there, told their point, and now this, there's another guy, there's, there's not what I'm pointing, but there's another guy there, he's another larger man that's using their size against these tiny female activists to manipulate them in a way that they can steal their signs. The actors have done nothing. They got boo they walked down, got booed, and now these larger than life men are taking advantage. Look at him! Pausing again. He's shirt punching the guy, which is that one. That's just a bogan guy that's oh, I'm presuming I don't know. But he's, this is what turns a peaceful protest, which could have easily gotten a point across, into what is deemed as an aggressive shit fight. Is when people like this, who's not one of the activists, obviously, because he's trying to steal a sign, has come and he's shirt punching a guy and installing violence in it. It was a completely non violent protest. If they just let them stand there and say their spiel, which is a good spiel that all these people should be listening. All they've done so far is ask them to listen, no, not listen, ask them to watch the cove. Do that, security would have come and eventually moved them on their way. Everybody's a winner. But people like this, these Batman vigilantes that decide to take it in their own control, these people have lost nothing so far, like 20 seconds of their day at SeaWorld. The show's still going to continue when they leave. These dolphins are still going to get abused, but like, there's no need for these people to go and act as vigilantes and interrupt. Like, this is probably why it made the news. I don't know. We'll just keep watching. But this guy's a douche. Look, he's arcing up. I can't hear what they're saying, but I can only presume that it's not nice. Look at him. Look at him go. This man is big. 
against a tiny little presumably vegan activist. <clears throat> Look at him go again. Look at the size difference in that. Even the staff are trying to stop this man. If it, right, pausing it again. If this, if it gets to the point that the staff are telling you to stop doing something, then stop doing it. That's what, like, the staff are telling this guy to stop stealing the signs because obviously he's causing a larger scene than there needs to be. Don't, don't take the signs. Like, the staff are telling you not to take the signs. Don't take the signs. Common sense. Look. That's the leader of the protest there, Dan, with the glasses. I think his name's Dan, I'm going to feel really bad if it's not Dan. But, he's standing there calmly talking to security guards. Doing nothing of... I think that's the large man getting applauded for his efforts in abusing animal rights activists. That's really nice. Uh, uh, here we go, pausing again. This video is going to take forever. I know we don't have that much longer to go. They've paused, they've put, I don't know if you can hear it because I keep talking through it, but they've put on the sound system telling, like, that's just telling them all about the shit that SeaWorld doesn't do. Doesn't do. Doesn't do. It's in telling them all about all this great work that SeaWorld does and how they protect the oceans and save the oceans and da 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 when in reality all these are dolphins that they've stolen. So now they're trying to make the crowd go on the side of SeaWorld instead of on the side of the activists because obviously they're in the wrong, otherwise they wouldn't be acting out against it. Just, this is a what? two minute fifty video and it's going to take a lot longer than that to get through it because I just keep going on tirades. Look at that! That Bond girl abusing them like screaming at the activists. They've literally like taken what five minutes out of your day to give a message. It's not like they uh, they've stolen dolphins from you. Like you can still watch your shitty little show it's been five minutes out of your life to potentially save the lives of however many dolphins in the future. I don't understand why people get angry. Ugh. And there's the police. I presume police. Maybe security. Taking them out. And look at how depressed that dolphin is. You cannot look at that dolphin and tell me that's a happy dolphin. Fairfax Media. Ugh. And then the activists... Don't play, I don't want to play man in fire or where it is. The activists peacefully walk out, do their own little thing with their signs. Activists, such as myself, other activists, we're not here to abuse you, we're not here to start a fight, we're not here to ruin your day, we're here to spread a little bit of a message, spread a little bit of good, get our point across. It's like they do it in America all the time. I don't understand, I don't need this anymore. I don't understand how in America they can protest all the time and then Australians are like, yeah, America, yeah, stand up for what you believe in. Yeah, 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 go America. And then as soon as something like that happens here in Australia, it's just like, oh, Jesus, buddy. Look at them, they're ruining it. They're ruining the world. They're not, they're just, we're just spreading a message. Those dolphins aren't happy. Those dolphins aren't enjoying their life of captivity and cruelty where they just live in a pool. Can you imagine spending your entire life in a pool? Dolphins swim for, I don't know the facts, I can probably get the facts and put them up here of how far a dolphin goes, but a dolphin swims kilometers a day out in the wild, lives for a, an extended period of time. All of the facts will be here. I'll do that actual facts rather than me saying facts that aren't true. But all of these comments, and now they're confined to what is essentially, what is, what is a pool. They're confined to a pool for the rest of their life, for your entertainment, and then forced to jump. Everybody says the dolphins, oh, the dolphins look so happy, they're having so much fun. They're really, like, they're not. That's what they're trained to do. You can't tell me a dolphin enjoys sitting down all the time. It's just sitting down because, it, you know, 
that's what it does. You don't enjoy your job, well, maybe you do enjoy your job, but most people don't enjoy their job, but they go there and do what they're told because they have to. That's just what's installed in these dolphins, when in reality, they should be out on, I don't know, in Adelaide we have the Port River, we have our dolphins in there, they should be in the ocean, they should be swimming with their family, their social beings, with their pods. That's just shit. And then these activists are getting, if you, I don't know if you've read the comments of some of the posts on Facebook, some of the comments will just blow your mind. Just nuts. Um, I think that's it. I think the activists did a fantastic job. Absolutely love it. I'm going to put the link to them down here, even though I don't get any views. It's not really going to make that much of a difference. But I'll put the link to their Facebook down here. I'll put the link to Finfree Melbourne down here because he does a fantastic job there. Um, if you want to learn more about dolphin captivity, I'll put another link for the, the Cove is what you should be watching, which will be here. I'll put another link for that down below so that you can watch that and learn about captivity. If you haven't seen Blackfish, I'll put Blackfish down below as well, which is about whale captivity and Tilcom, which recently passed away, the whale. Very sad. That was, he spent, what, she, he, they spent mo most of their life in captivity, which, and killed a whole bunch of trainers, so go Tilcom. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. Another little rant. I'm doing them more and more often, but there are just more and more things that are annoying me these days. So this is a very easy way for me to get it out of my system. If you liked this video, like it below. If you would like to subscribe, I would very much enjoy it. You can click here to subscribe and you can click here to watch another video. But yes, I very much like complaining, so have a good day, watch the videos below, enlighten yourself, learn a little bit, have a fantastic evening, look after yourself, peace.